Hey Exiles, how are we doing? Mr. A2G back again playing some more Saga of Survival. How are we going guys? Okay, I thought, I thought I'd take you guys out to the dungeon today. So I need some hay. And I do need to start thinking about that now. Now that I'm actually actively using the horse a lot more. I've only got 150 worth of hay. So I haven't got too much left to go unfortunately. So it's going to get to that point where I know I'm going to need it. And I'm not going to have the hay to uh, use the horse. And it's just not going to work out for me. So I'm going to take you guys along with me today. I have a bit of a chat about the game. Where it's at and all that sort of stuff. Um, update 1.14, all that sort of stuff, speculation talk, all that sort of stuff. So we'll, we'll get into it. We'll have we have a bit of a chat, see, see how we're going along and all that sort of good stuff. Anyway, um, so I actually hit level 66. Um, I think I mentioned that in my previous video. So able to start now crafting the, uh, the wand and I actually um, made the wiring cage. So I mean, obviously you can't build it or complete it, I should say, but I've put the bases down, the plot in and... For you guys wanting to know what's needed and required, this is basically it. So these things are by no means not in the game whatsoever, um, especially with the uh, Minarian plate, it's still plate I should say rather, that you're going to need so you can actually um, yeah, craft yourself and tame a wire in which, there you go, there's the, um, the description for it there. So at least you guys know a little bit more about it. But yeah, um, I just figured, you know what, I'll just show you what I've been up to in the past week as well. So at least you guys, you know, have a bit of an idea and understanding. So yeah, what do you guys think about 1.14 that's going to be coming out soonish? I mean, they're going to do the same thing like what they did with 1.13, where they're going to do their soft release and then their big, then their full release and things like that. So you guys are going to have to expect that and don't freak out when you don't get the um, the full release of the update. Basically, they're going to put their foundations down, make sure that everything's running correctly, and then they basically just go ahead and, and uh, add it in, and away we go. That's basically how they're going to do it, and I hope you guys sort of understand that as well, because I know there was a bit of a concern about that, especially um, in between um, uh, releases from the prior one to the one that we've got now. So, yeah, I just figured I might just you know, bring that up. What they're going to be bringing out, um, honestly, I mean, I haven't looked at the development, uh, development map for so long, so I want you guys to start thinking about it and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Um, hopefully there's going to be some decent um, releases and updates and things like that. I mean, we had quite a big update with what we've got with the 1.13, so in comparison, you know, whether or not that they're going to match terms of content wise what uh, you know what we got out of 1.13 versus what we're going to be getting out with 1.14 who knows um, but hopefully you guys you know um, will start the discussion in the comment section and if you guys are new just make sure that you do that right thing there hit the subscribe button notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos but without that out of the way um, we'll get into the dungeon we'll muck about um, but a couple of other things I wanted to address as well, and I'm not too sure if you guys have been experiencing it. I mean, I know I have, so it's been a bit of a pain. And I hope the developers do look at this and fix this up as well with the future update. There was a, an incremental update over the um, over the last few days. I'm not going to need that. Just drop that back. Um, yeah. So, but I believe it's made it a little bit worse. So what I mean by that exactly is that. Uh, when you are in a zone, where, whether it be home, whether it be somewhere else, um, all of a sudden your your player might glitch out for a second, and then you might see him, you know, maybe if he's standing here, he might be there. But if you had taken items within that cycle or where you know in that pro close proximity, they may not appear in your inventory or they might just get split up in your inventory and to me it's just been, it's just been a bit of a hassle it's i mean it's just an, an annoyance more more borderline inconvenience personally um but I want, I want to know what you guys think about that as well have you guys been experiencing that is that something that you guys have been um you know being subjected to i mean i i mean i have so I just wanted to know if it's just me or if anyone else has been, um, you know, um, having to put up with this as well. So, uh, do I take the pants? I'll take the pants. 
So as you can see, actually, I've had this armor set since the the uh, the Adventures quest um, a few weeks back, and I've not removed it, and it's been quite the set of armor. I mean, I hope you guys have been taking advantage of yours to those that have actually done the quest. Um, but yeah, it's I love it. I've actually got another set in my vault as well, uh, ready to go. So it saved me from finding, um, you know, set of armor, crafting anything, you know, not that I really do that much anyway, but I, I sort of try and avoid um, crafting unnecessary things. But that's just me. You know what, I might just keep all that today. But yeah, I just figured, you know, why not? Use it, it's there, you know, obviously you can't craft it, but Hey, it's, it's free armor, you spend a little bit of time in the game and you get you know, your, your reward for it. Oop. You guys keep coming at me. Sorry, I was just looking at my time, it was just doing something very funny, so just looking at that there, but that's okay. We are all good. So, yeah. So some annoying little glitches in the game. I mean, I'm sure you guys would have experienced some other things as well. I think I've had the login uh, problem as well, so I'm, not, I'm sure you guys may have experienced that as well. I'm just hoping the developers are actively looking at it. Um, hopefully you guys have done the right thing and you know uh, put in your bug and error reports so at least this way they can address these um, in future updates. And hopefully the, uh, the game will become a little bit more on the stable side because I feel you know at the at this minute it's not as stable as it has been in the past which is you know um, quite annoying and a little bit concerning at the same time because <coughs> excuse me obviously we want to play the game as much as uh, we want without any issues or interruptions but um, to me I, f I feel you know it's just they're just little fixes little minor fixes and the other the other issue that I've had a couple of times and I actually had it before I started filming as well so and it the only way to fix it is you have to physically get out of the game, jump back in, log out. So your analog stick here, I've had the issue where I've gone into a zone and I'm moving it and my player's not moving. He just stands there. You can attack, you can heal, you can do, you can access your inventory and everything else in between, but whatever reason, the analog stick you cannot use and it's like you've either damage that part of the screen and you just cannot move at all so the only way that I've been able to fix it and resolve that issue has only been to jump out of the game and then jump back in so yeah that's another thing I'm, I'm hoping the developers have actually captured as part of their um, their bug and error reports and I'm hoping that they'll be able to rectify that hopefully soon um, because that that there is is really annoying, especially if you're if you've jumped into a zone, say like the Curse Forest, for example. And the the easiest example of that would be is as soon as you jump into that zone, you'd either get one or two, or if not maybe three spiders coming at you right away. And you obviously got to have to make a move. You need to move. And if you can't, you're either going to be sitting there attacking. If you haven't. Um, prepared yourself in the zone yet, I don't know why that yet may haven't before jumping in, but let's say you haven't, um, you're going to die, you're going you're gonna to have to go back in there with um, and retrieve your um, your body, your items inside, and yeah, and then go again, I, I guess, but to me that's been annoying. This is an another annoying thing as well. The forge usually gives us clay bars, and uh, amongst other assort assortments there. Over the last few times that I've been in this dungeon, I've only gotten nails. Now, I don't know what that's all about. Um, I don't know if that's a hint. I was thinking about this the other, um, you know, beforehand as well. Is it a hint? Are we, you know, expecting maybe the forge to uh, provide us nails later on? I'm not too sure. Um, I mean, I, I guess that would be kind of cool because I know nails are becoming more of a necessity as you level up as well. So especially if you want to craft things like barrels and things like that and other little bits and pieces. A lot of the, um, the faction quests um, demand nails as well. So I guess that's, you know, something that they, they might be hinting or will they be thinking about adding later on? I'm not sure, but I just wanted to see what you guys think about that as well. So it's been a bit of annoyance. I haven't got what I wanted from that. So I don't know. I'm just, whether or not I'm, I'm nitpicking here, um, I mean, I guess you're allowed to, 
I mean, we're we're obviously all consumers of the game, and we, you know, want to you know want to spend our time in the game and you know invest what we want, uh, what we can, I guess. And you know, with that potential option of supporting the developers by dropping down, you know, any sort of money. It, uh, to better ourselves or just to re- uh, reward ourselves and obviously re- reward the developers for making such a great game. I'm guessing, you know, all these little things sort of impact us, you know, in such a way. So, but, you know, for myself, I, you know, I think I can only count maybe once, if not maybe twice. I've dropped a, you know, a couple of dollars here or there, um, you know, and that's just really realistically just to support, you know, the devs. You know, it's not to uh, better my advancement in the game, um, definitely not. And it's just, you know, a testament that you haven't had to do that so far. And, you know, I'm, I can't be bothered running, I'm just going to attack you and take you right out because you are no match for this wand. Yeah, so primarily I I prefer to, sorry, I thought, I don't know what that was there. I haven't seen that before. I don't know whether they've added that, added that in there for aesthetics. I'm not sure. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting off topic here. So, <laughs> yeah. So, look, don't know whether what you guys or how you guys run and operate while playing the game, depending on how many how many hours you've invested into this game. Do you start purchasing things at all, or do you, you know, play as free as possible? And, you know, when you can, if you can, do you drop a couple of dollars here or there to make, you know, um, some contribution to the game for the for the devs there? You know, however little or however big it might be, I guess, you know, it's up to up to the individual, I guess. But, I mean, for me, if I, if I want to, I will. And, you know, I don't, I don't encourage everyone to do what I do. And I guess that's that's probably a big thing to sort of call out as well, you know. I mean, you know, I'm not sponsored by the guys or anything like that. I play this because I love playing the game, so I guess that's a that's a big difference as well. So yeah. Anyway, I don't know why I went on to, I went all the way down that path there, but here we are, guys. That's you know, that's the way that the mind works. As soon as you grab onto something, you just want to start, you know, uh, taking it taking it on board you sort of run with it and you know it just sort of gets to a point where you think hang on why did I start talking about this I don't know anyway we are pretty much three quarters of the way through actually making some really good time and I'm telling you it is because of this wand this now has sort of opened up you know a bottleneck that I had you know from whatever level I was when I first got the um uh, the crossbow and obtaining the the one star variant of the of the crossbow to where I am now that I've actually got the the wand and to tell you the truth as soon as I got to level 66 I already had enough scrolls to unlock uh, the first uh, tier star so I didn't even have to craft the non star which is great because the when you look at the stats between the two the durability is just insane um let's just drop off a few things because i know i'm not going to need any of this <laughs> not going to need any of that that's full and i probably won't need that and you know what we'll just put them there for if i've got them there i'll just quickly go boom boom done and we'll just need one more key for this so yeah we'll, we'll have enough all right do I? Yeah, okay, I may as well grab enough of the spider venom because, as I said, I mean, I'm, I'm running out as well of that. A few other little things that have popped up, especially during the, the last few events that I've been doing, a lot of them have um, required me just to make so much raw materials into better materials, and it's just, yeah. You know, I realistically got to start going onto a massive resource run, and I've been sort of avoiding that for the longest time. And you know, because I just want to do other things. And I think that's going to be most of the spiders here, I'm afraid, guys. Um, there might be one more up here. No, actually, everyone was there. So those three were normally spread out in this little corridor area, but that's all good. 
all good. I'll clean up further down and hopefully we'll finish off the map. Hopefully there's some hay in that glowing chest. Who would have thought that I needed hay now? That's... Oh boy, what do you do? I'll leave that aside. Okay, I'll take you out. And I'm sure you guys have noticed as well, with the 1.13 update, have you guys noticed that certain actions are a lot less, um, well, well, I would say a little bit more laggier? Takes a little while for your for your character to actually do his or her animation. Um, and I'll use the, the crossbow as, as that prime example. Like I feel like it takes a lot longer for you to do the, um, you know, for you to use your crossbow, which is really, really annoying. Now the crossbow is a great weapon and it still is, but the, 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 the delay between taking the shot and then re um, loading up and doing it again, I get it from a, um, a realism perspective. Um, but yeah, it's just getting to that point now where, you know, do you want to keep using it and do you switch to a different weapon and, and use that from thereafter? Now I started using the pyro ring and that, that I feel is also delayed as well. Um, just take all that. Um, but that's just my opinion on that. I, I just don't know what you guys think. Uh, so let me know down in the comments, uh, what you think about that. Um, anything else that you've noticed between these updates, you know, ha has there been any sort of drawbacks, anything else that has, um, you know, warranted any sort of concern or uh, frustration, uh, maybe be interested to know. All right, so we are up to the Bone Breaker Brothers, as I like to call them. These two guys usually hang about with each other here. And this has got one more hit in it. And we're going to have to get a bit of distance here. And I did have one more just in case. I thought about taking a couple of hammers with me and just repairing it on the go, but didn't know how much I was actually going to, or how much I would have needed, to be honest with you, before that was going to be so, uh, you know any sort of concern but I probably would have could have used the hammer probably could have used it up and would have just got by with one uh one but yeah there we go it's not much but it's something so I'm not going to be too worried about that all right so we're going to grab where was that bone breaker there he is I'll take that and that back thank you very much Let's get your friend here and we'll just take you right out. And we will pretty much go ahead and call it as soon as I get topside and clear out the deck up there as well. And you know what, we'll take that in favor of that. And we'll check out the last chest and we'll head out. I won't bother going down there. Oh, do I go down there? All right, we'll, we'll go down there, we'll go down there. Fine, fine, you guys convince me. All right, so we'll open up this fella here first quickly. And ooh, get some elm. So what I'll do is I might just drop a few of these here, which I don't need. I'll go back and collect them later on. And I'll keep that, take that, put that back. All right, leave that there for now. Still got a, bit, a decent amount of time before the zone resets, so I'm not going to be even worried about it. I'm just going to run in, find the chests, and ask the Levy star. Let me get out of there. And you know what? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's, um... Let's get you guys ushered over this way. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Uh, let's get out of their proximity. Oh, oh, goodness. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. What are you doing? And let us run. Oh, I did not. Oh, come on. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. Without it, 
annoying anyone. Just chill, don't bother me. I won't bother you. I might, but I might not. Oh, just as well as I did. Look at that. I hope I get some level ups here. Yeah, just XP received. Oh, I mean, that was a decent looking set of um, scrolls there, but I don't think that equated, equated to much, unfortunately. And okay, so there's a couple of you guys over here. Come, 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 come. And let's just sneak over here. And take this chest as well. Okay, hopefully you guys don't make your way over and hassle me. Just stay where you are. And what do we get out of this? Beautiful. Always good getting these little medals and medallions. I'm still trying to get more of those, um, uh, whatchamacallit, those faction letters as well. So I've started, I was actually on a bit of a, um, bit of a grind and I did find a, a number of those um, faction letters. So I'm hoping to get all of them you know, in a reasonable amount of time. I don't know how much of, I mean, let me ask you this guys. How how many of those faction notes have you got? Have you got all of them from one faction? Nice. Have you got, you know, some of them? Have you got all, all three factions um, all set up? Um, I'd love to, love to hear from you guys. Um, you know, interested to know a little bit more about the lore of the game and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, be very, very interested. Anyway, I think that's all the chests here. I think there was only about three. So he'll let us escape. I might even come back and, and you know, and uh, smash them all out because I'll probably need the clay out of them as well. But who knows? We'll, we'll see. Because I do need clay. That's that's probably another thing I'm, I'm sort of running out on. I've been making a whole lot of clay bars, but with the amount of clay that I've had, and I've just been, as I said, I've been crafting like crazy. A lot of wet stones and things like that. I haven't had enough um, to actually stockpile for myself, just to keep. So that's been rather annoying. So hopefully, you know, uh, with more grinding and just focusing on those certain items, I'll be able to actually, you know, get a bit more of a stockpiles. Because I want to start eventually upgrading the base as well, because that's been, I've left that for so long. Um, don't know what uh, you know what you guys are doing with your bases and stuff like that and I'm trying to just anticipate for you know when um, PvP does come out I guess that's probably going to be the biggest thing you know you obviously want to be prepared all right anyway guys that's probably going to go ahead and do it here we, we've done we've been here long enough today um, that's all the time I've got here for today but thank you all for watching as per usual if you guys are new make sure you hit the subscribe button notification bell you know you know you know the drill guys all, all that good stuff like comment do all that stuff for me anyway have a great day take it easy i'll catch you next time